Hi, I'm Alberto Savoia, one of the co-conspirators in Craft4j. People always ask me, Alberto, you're a software manager. Can I use software metrics to manage developers? Absolutely. It's easy and fun. Well, fun for you, not so much for the developers. Let me show you how I go about it. Here we have one of the projects that my developers are working on. So the first thing I do is run Craft4j on it. Go on here, click on the toilet paper icon. Right now it's running the test, and it lets me know what the crap score is. And as you can see here, there's way too many crappy methods. 7.96, 7.69, this is unacceptable. So it's time to take some action. It has to be gentle but firm action. Come with me and I'll show you how. Feedback is an integral part of metrics-based software management. The first time a developer violates a sacred metric, you have to take action. But you don't take immediate severe action, you start with a gentle verbal warning. Come with me. By the way, before you give warning or any other sort of feedback, it's important to create a personal relationship with developers in addition to the professional relationship. Try to be a mentor, a father figure, something more than just a pure manager. Are any of you Jonathan? No. Are you Jonathan? It works best if you catch them by surprise. Cut the crap! You see, it's easy, it's fast, and it's effective. Unfortunately, sometimes a verbal warning is not enough. Some developers just don't get the message. I would like to have a bit more of an impact. But HR tells me that I have to follow a verbal warning with a written warning. Well, Fortunately, I'm prepared. I always carry a written warning with me. Now, how do I deliver this written warning? A wise man once said, if all you have is a hammer, everything looks like a nail. And to me, that's a philosophy to really live by, especially in the context of software metrics. So, I combine the written warning with my hammer and go look for my nail. Hey, Jonathan! And if repeated written warnings don't do the job, Craft4j leaves a paper trail so you can justify employee termination. And this is the thing that as a software manager you have to do yourself. So let's get our software management tools and let's go do it. Terminating employees is never fun, but it's part of your lot as a software engineering manager. So, somebody's got to do it. Man, this guy's heavy. Bye, Jonathan. I wish you the best of luck in your future jobs. And whatever you do, don't forget the torso. <laughs>